everyone, before we get into things, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, and that sponsor is Lords Mobile. Not only did they help make this video possible today, but they also are aiding in the fight against the coronavirus by donating over 1.8 million pieces of medical supplies to countries in need. But that's not all, they also want to support you. Me? Oh yes, you. With everything going on in the world today right now, Lords Mobile and I wanted to try to find a way to help you and give back a bit. So we're doing a $20,000 giveaway. 20 people will be getting $1,000 each. It's super simple. All you've got to do is download the game from the link in the description and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win. You'll also automatically receive a $350 Lords Mobile gift pack after downloading the game. In Lords Mobile, you can play with over 300 million players around the world to form a guild with your friends and take on the world together. Your guild mates are your allies who can send you resources and help you with your building projects. You can also team up together to take down your enemies and defend each other from outside threats. Or if you just want to let off some steam, you can capture, sequester, execute, or even charge ransoms for other players. The game has a mix of strategy, RPG, MMO, and city building. And if you're a solo player, they have an RPG style campaign where you'll create your strongest team of five heroes to lead your kingdom to glory or failure. Sorry, I can't guarantee your victory if you uh, aren't in my guild, my bad. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and download Lords Mobile from the link in my description to automatically be entered in the $20,000 giveaway. Okay, let's go. I've got a question for you. If it were the year 2007, your name were Jonathan Karsh, and CBS, the primetime family-friendly television network, just gave you a shitload of money to make a reality television show, would you A, put a bunch of literal children in the middle of the desert in a Lord of the Fly style situation without adult supervision and force them to survive, or B, Congratulations! If you chose A, you're correct! You in shame! Basically, this was a real show somehow, uh... I don't know how they got away with it. It was a real reality television show in 2007 where they took a bunch of young kids of varying ages and put them in the middle of a desert to create a society all on their own. And they filmed it. For real. I, I swear I'm not making this up. They really did this. And I have no idea how I've never heard of it. I had to experience this. And now, so do you. So prepare yourselves for the impending PR disaster that was Kid Nation. This is Bonanza City, New Mexico, or what's left of it anyway. The pioneers who ran this place back in the 1800s ran it into the ground. Lack of leadership and lack of will combined to leave this town completely and totally dead. Lack of leadership, lack of courage, lack of war hydration. They moved to Los Angeles. They're fine now. I'm going to put kids here. How did they get away? Was there a lawsuit attached to this? I need to look this up. In the synopsis from the Kid Nation wiki here, speaking before an audience of television reviewers, producer Tom Foreman acknowledged that Kid Nation would inevitably share some elements with William Golding's novel, Lord of the Flies. How do you bitch that? Listen, board of directors, I know you've got safety at the forefront of your mind. Inevitably, though, the kids will begin to kill one another to form a dominance hierarchy. If you see, if those are the script, that's the script and this is the production, it's built, you can't not have the fat kid die. It's really hard. Now, 40 new pioneers will try to fix their forefathers mistakes and build a town that works. It won't be easy. Pioneer living is tough. And the amazing part is these pioneers are children. I love this freaking epic helicopter shot. I like it was like, yes, that's correct. As I'm speaking to you now, 40 children are barreling towards me at a speed that is not legal in most of the lower 48 states. That's right. The oldest just turned 15. The youngest is eight and a half. He got that one just looking at a picture of their family. That's the last you'll ever see. You're going you're gonna to be forgetting mommy's face soon. They are every kind of kid imaginable. City kids, country kids, rich, poor, and even the rarest kind of kid of all, missing. I'm not gonna be with my parents, there's no adults, and I think I'm gonna die out here because there's nothing. He's got a lock on it. Jimmy, eight, the youngest. Clearly kids are smarter than we give them credit for. Here's what I'm afraid about. If I catch a bad disease or I break a, bad, a leg, literally. She's gonna be the winner, I can tell. The attitude, she's got an attitude. She's a good one, good attitude though. 40 kids with no parents, no teachers anywhere. And their leaders, they're kids too. Everyone's kids. The cameramen, kids. The producers, kids. The medic, 
that's three kids. We thought that was too hard for one kid. Split it among three. It's the first ever Kid Nation. That's right. We're seriously dropping kids off to fend for themselves in the genuine middle of nowhere. That's the buzzer that'll eat your dehydrated corpse if you don't work hard enough at the game. Come off the bus! Get the fuck up! What are you waiting? What are you waiting for? You think I got time for this? You know who I am? I gotta get on a plane to somewhere real. Hey everybody, oh, okay. gather up, okay. gather up, pack it in. I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you guys. They don't feel the same way, Jonathan. They don't feel the same way. And by the way, how dare you use such a name? A sneeze. But that's not gonna stop me from saying what I need to say. <laughs> oh fuck, it's the worst when you can't sneeze. So how are you guys feeling? Scared. <laughs> well, say goodbye to that school bus. How how's everybody feeling? Oh, scared? Well, good news. Have a look at the tail end of your only possible way out of here. It's gone. And say hello to the middle of nowhere. Good luck. Sorry you didn't get like fear factor. Oh my. Oh yeah, it's just setting in. I don't know, whatever I got myself. I mean, my parents got me into. Are the parents liable here? Because I think the parents are liable here. Because I don't think like an eight year old is just like, mommy, can you send me out into a desert with Jonathan Karsh? I don't think the eight year old takes most of those steps. I think some of it's on the parents there. Bonanza City is just a few miles that way and you're gonna be there for the next 40 days. But don't worry. You've got each other. You've also got four leaders. And they were chosen because they represent all of you in age, geography, everything. Are you trying to accuse me? I didn't get the, the three who re they represent ev the ev age, geography, everything. They're your town council. And I think I hear them coming right now. Came from a helicopter, came from this guy. I think I'm a good leader because I have respect for other people's ideas. Unlike the rest of these freaks. And this is Taylor, a gung-ho pageant queen. If I can make this a better world, I'd bring world peace to Africa with all the orphans, especially to Iraq, and that'd be the number one place that needs world peace. That's beautiful, Taylor, and you can get right on that after you finish bringing running water to this town of 40 literal infants. This is Anjay, a genius spelling bee champ. Three girls I know have done a good job. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, three of the only good adults, all of them wanted the British to stop ruling their country. And this is Laurel, a respected student leader. I really believe in my own true beliefs, and no one's going to make me think otherwise. Wow. Politicians. When I saw those four kids, I was like, oh no, this is all going to fall apart. What? Is this the right people, or are they just getting right back on the helicopter? I mean, I'm looking at them coming down, and I'm thinking, frankly, uh, my biggest problem here is just that they're unelected, and also that they're children. Behind me are wagons filled with 40 days' worth of frontier supplies. You guys are going to grab a wagon and get started. It's a long hike. And that's just the beginning. The next 40 days will be hard. This is hard for a seven foot tall Norman Viking. You're about that big. If you just can't handle all of this, well, there's going to be a town hall meeting in a few days where any one of you can decide to give up and go home. If any of you wants to be a little bitch on national television in front of all your peers, well, don't worry, you could do that in five days from now. 
It's entirely up to you, okay? There are no correlating factors related to your decision. It is 100% up to you. Do you understand? Council, two things you need to remember. First, after you get to town and settle in, go to the chapel where you'll find an old book that'll give you a lot more information about what to do. It's called the Holy Bible, and God damn it, you guys are gonna need it. Huh, smart guy that got. Second, there's something I wanna show you. It's a good idea to get to know the kids in your town because every few days, you're gonna give one of them one of these. Wow. It's a trophy for the top kid in town. Okay, I, I don't care what it is. Can you keep it out of my eyes, please? Because Bonanza City was based on mining, this two pound star is worth its waiting or <laughs> Twenty thousand dollars. No. No. As if these kids have an understanding of what twenty thousand dollars was. What's that worth? Like fifty, six, seventy stickers bars? Promise me you can't tell anybody about this. I'm not talking about the star. I'm talking about this. Okay, please don't tell anybody about this. I can get in a lot of trouble. We don't want to start a riot here on the wagon train, okay? You don't want your top military guards to be decapitated, heads on pikes around the Bastille, okay? You don't want that. No resistance! Okay, you don't want any of that, okay? You don't want that to happen. I don't think it's too much fun living in the old days. I told you that would happen! Really no fun. <laughs> he really doesn't look like he's having a good time, like, for real. Stop work. Really... Yeah. But it has to be done. Hey, it ain't easy. Pulling carts of plastic Tupperware and chicken eggs and shit, but uh, somebody's got to do it, okay? Like, I don't ever built a straw in the mouth. There's nothing here. It just looks like there was something, but now it's gone. This place is dead, and we need to bring it back to life. I felt sort of weird because I thought that maybe there would be adults. You can't script that. You can't make that up. That kid is the proof. That kid's a legitimate proof this actually happened. Here in a kid's world, there's no President Bush, there's nothing. Homegirl, you should be talking about Jeb. Now, if Jeb were here, this would be a fixed up town. Crap required. Are we supposed to live here? Guys, there's something in here. Oh, hey, I think there's something. Okay, that's just squ scorpions, I think. There's like a big snake in there too. It's just scorpions and a snake, guys. Well, when we first started planning for dinner, I realized that a lot of us haven't done anything. The screwdriver beat like can of corn? If I put a hole in my friend, does he stop? Does he like slow down? We need some water. Guys, guys, where's the water? There's no water? <laughs> How do you get water if you don't have water? How do you get water if you don't have water? Just hit the ground, just. Oh, oh, oh. Taylor, what's wrong? I just like missing home and I just miss my own bed and like getting to eat protein like and meats and all. I just miss those like base amino acids that, that, that my cells need to survive. I don't know. I just wish they would have like at least left a couple Flintstone gummies or something. I don't know if I'm going to be at the meeting or not. I just, Why? today has been the worst day in three years. What exactly happened to you three years ago, Jared? What happened? I don't see any food. No food. When we say one pancake a piece, you need to take one pancake a piece. Some people didn't get pancakes. I didn't get any pancakes. Hey, this is the second day. Why are we arguing already? Like this? Okay, you guys, listen up. This is to prove the kids of all age groups like you guys can actually take control, get organized, and then you can actually work together cooperatively. You guys actually need to listen to your leaders because, yes, okay, they've made a few mistakes. This is the second day. There's going to be mistakes, okay? But you guys really need to think of your job and you need to take control of it. And after we do that, we'll just become a working machine. Each of us will be a cog in a big machine, an empty machine, but it's going to have to be that way or else we'll all starve and we'll just work out a lot better. Michael, 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 he did it! Our king is a great evil revolution! Here's the book of Pioneer Gear. You know, there's Bonanza City, 1885. If you're reading this, then you've made it to Bonanza City. We couldn't make this town work, but maybe you can build a better Bonanza and a better world. Oh, on the second page, there's just a picture of a bunch of skeletons. Weird. 
If you want your town to work better than ours, best divide your groups into four equal districts. Blue, red, green, and yellow. You gotta split that sucker up into blue, green, yellow, and the other color. That's how you do it, okay? You split it, you split it into colors. That's how you make a town. But I wouldn't take advice from us, because we ran a town to the ground. Yesterday, Jonathan told us about this really old book. I read like a passage from it out loud. I think it was an incantation. I know I shouldn't have, but the town might be cursed now, but Jimmy, you're green, uh, Alex, gonna be blue. So in order to make it work, we had to split you guys up into four different districts. I mean, I know it's counterintuitive, but the town, it's gotta be district dies because that's straight from the guys who killed the town, made the town die. It's gonna die otherwise. I think I did a good job at picking the teams. People seem to like each other, they get along. Jimmy. Jimmy? Okay, everyone, don't panic. We've lost Jimmy. Uh, the youngest is missing. <sighs> Was this not awkward to film? You track down this eight-year-old somewhere randomly in the camp. It's just you and him, and you're just silently filming him cry. What are you, what are you monsters? That's great. Nah, nice, Jimmy. Just give me more of that. Just keep thinking about how you have literally no escape. Somebody has graffitied with the chalk all over. We're gonna find out who did this. If only they would have left some sort of clue. Pioneers, gather up! And the bell's ringing and ringing. And I seen John go up there ringing it. I was like, I wonder what that's for. What is that for? You know, because he's, Jay Cars is ringing that bell quite liberally, and it's not, it's not generally good plans he's got for us, so. You know, I'm, just, I'm really wondering what that's, what that's for. Pioneer living is tough, isn't it? Yes. Who thinks this has been totally chaotic? Show of hands, who thinks any of this has been reasonable at all? Who thinks this is totally out of line? Jimmy, you're a little quiet over here. How's this on you? You're, you're only eight years old. Are you missing your parents? Must be hard seeing as I dropped you off in this barren landscape. You miss your mommy and daddy? Why don't you speak up? What are you so quiet for? Small infant in the back? You look like easy prey as far as I see it. Well, maybe it's time to get a little bit more organized. How does that sound? Yeah, yes, please. Yes, that's what I want. That is what I want. That's what I want. This board lays out all the jobs that need to be done to make this town run. Okay, that's not, that's not really what I was thinking. I was thinking when you said organized, I was thinking like a supply chain of food and dairy that comes like once a week, maybe. Cooking, cleaning, even running stores. Woo-woo, right. woo retail, yeah! You guys are gonna be managing stores in Bonanza City filled with cool stuff. You'll even run a soda saloon where root beer costs a nickel. How does that sound? Yeah. Fuck yeah, root beer, yeah! I still, can we get water first though? As you can see on the board, starting right now, you get paid for doing your jobs. Yeah. We're gonna figure out who does what fairly. In true Wild West fashion, we're gonna have a showdown. That's right, you kids are gonna fight to the death for your fixed spot in the hierarchy of this child-backed feudal economy. Woo! All right, Jimmy, you better work the hardest out of anyone here. You, you got the most of your life to live out in this system. You're only eight years old. See, that's you all the way down there. You better hope you can scrounge up enough corn to pay the cooking class their wage, okay? That's me up there, that's the king, Jay Karsh. It, it works out pretty good in the end there. It's kind of, it's, it's an elegant little system. So yeah, he makes the teams compete for their place in the social structure here, literally. Which is amazing considering the kids who get in the laborer class clearly have shown themselves here to be the least able to do labor. So that's a bit of a cruel trick. You guys all pulled together and you won a reward for the entire town. The reward is gonna be a choice. Christ sakes. You're gonna make them pay, all right. What do we got? Houses. Seven, four of them. That's right. From one to eight. From one to eight? You've only given one outhouse this whole time? Wait, are you serious? Have they seriously? I mean, I know it's reality TV, but we've established this one's a little different. Are you telling me they've actually had all the kids be using one outhouse? Oh my god, dude. You know what I mean? You just sometimes you meet a guy, you fucking, you fucking keep <laughs> So which reward will you choose? Seven more outhouses or this? A TV! Ah! Sanitary conditions, Bugs Bunny, no gangrene, 
Young Sheldon. Council, you guys run this town. It's really up to you. So take a walk, talk, and figure this out. If we have a TV, when are they going to have time to actually watch the TV? It's yeah. great. And we need more outhouses. But also, you look at the back, the TV, like, people just something to do. I've heard, like, they're planning a coup. Okay, they're coming for us, at least when SpongeBob, Squidward are on the screen, okay, dancing around. It's going to distract them. We don't have to get drawn and quartered, hung publicly in the square. We made a quick decision that you have to have outhouses. We don't want any more diseases from the toilet. Yeah, we want the toilets. I might leave. Why? Jimmy, why would you want to go home right now? I just miss my family, that's it. Same here. Yeah, you do need to stay. You keep your pointy finger away from my little Jimmy. Don't poke my Jimmy like that. You understand? You poked him again. Don't poke my Jimmy like that. Let's go, Pioneers, and welcome to the very first Bonanza City Town Hall Meeting. Just so you know, this is the first time the kids can elect to leave, so they were stuck here until this part. This is it, this is the first time. They had to go through all of that before they are allowed to leave. Oh gosh, I hope everyone's gonna be nice to each other. No yelling and or cursing. Hope nobody brings out a bone club they they picked from a wildebeest out in the, in the desert, starts brandishing it, beating me beating down the other kids. Hope that doesn't happen. Now, I know this has been an emotional few days, and a lot of you miss your folks. I'm going to ask this question in every town meeting. Does anybody want to go home? Anybody here want to look like a little bitch? Taylor, you were pretty homesick. How are you feeling now? Yeah, Taylor, remember that thing you told me in confidence that I'm now revealing in front of all your peer group? How about now? How's it going now? You still feeling like a, a big loser, baby? We want to wants to go home? Does anyone else here want to go home? That, that's, that was the energy I got from that. Jimmy, why do you want to go home? I'm really homesick. I think I'm way too young for this. He's like the only person with a rational sense of anything here. I am way too young for this, Jonathan. Do you want to leave this entire experience and go back home? You want to look at these four hellish walls and tell me you want to walk back home and eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich made by your mom? That's really what you want to do, Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm done. I'm good. Bye. Bye, I'm Jimmy, bye. I'm Jimmy, bye. We'll call your parents, we'll take you home, and this is the end of your- Life. Only the strong survive. No one leaves Kid Nation unless they make it through Kid Nation. Bye, Jimmy. Bye. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Can't you lie to Jimmy? Bye, Jimmy. I guess he was just way too homesick and just needed to go home. Now, one last piece of business before we close, and I think you guys are going to like this. Take a look at this, you guys. What the hell? Okay, now he brings it up like the second, the literal second Jimmy leaves. He's like, all right, now that that loser's gone, who wants to win $20,000? Jimmy was robbed. I'm just going to say it. Jimmy was robbed here. The person we felt who worked the hardest this entire time that they've been here is Sophia. So Sophia wins it and then they allow her to go to the one phone in the facility that they've been locking off from everyone. She's able to contact her mother for help. I got the moms just on the other end probably like, that's, that's great, sweetie. What do, you, what do you mean? I thought, the desert? Rattlesnakes? What do you mean? Fe feudalism? Honey, where are you? Honey, where are you? Can you see an intersection? What's the nearest street sign? Honey! Bonanza City! In short, uh, this has been uh, probably illegal, definitely unethical. I give it five stars, worth $20,000 each. Next time on JonTron. Find out the thrilling conclusion to the Kid Nation saga as John dives headfirst into an interview with Jimmy. Eight, from New Hampshire. Though he's not eight anymore, at least I think.
Kid Nation hit quite a long time ago now, so I doubt he's still eight. But you'll have to tune in next time to find out. Did you have any concept at that age of like, oh, it's reality TV, but it's probably not gonna be like totally real.